Yeah. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about um, grinding some valves. So we got some burnt valves. Take a look here at my exhaust valves. These right here, believe it or not, is not as bad as you might think. However, the two that I went ahead and pulled really were crummy and are actually causing a miss inside my uh, idle. I'm going to go ahead and grind them all down, but just for argument's sake, I'm going to, or educational purposes, I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, so first thing you got to have is a C compressor for one of these. How this works is this little bar right here loosens up. It'll loosen like this. This goes underneath the cylinder and holds on the bottom of the valve. You make this marry this, tighten it back up, and then when you tighten it, it pushes the valve down. All right. Now, meanwhile, here's what we're talking about: how to fix a burnt valve. What I'm saying is basically throw a little compound on it. And by the way, if you're bored like me and have nothing else to do, you always got to have great music and a cool dog to give you a hand. So meanwhile, here we go. We're going to put a little bit of grind on here. It's got some ugly um, ridges right here on the barrel. This is all there is to it. Throw a little water on it. Water keeps it nice and cool. I just put it inside my drill, like it's a drill bit, then I hold it. I better not hear those funny jokes, camera girl. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, grind, 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 grind. Well, eventually, this piece of crap's going to be shiny again. Here we go, there you go. Now, the goal, I went ahead and took this one out right here so you can see. See this edge? Right there? What you want to do is this. Back around here. See this ridge right here? I took the same grinding compound and I cleaned it out. And what you want is a nice tight fit. See how that sucker goes right there? Now, now I know without a shadow of a doubt, that little whip is holding air. And that's all we needed to do. So, when the exhaust is there, it's completely closed. <clears throat> which just saved me, I don't know, how many gazillions of dollars is your local mechanic going to put it up your ass to fix this? I have no idea. But probably a lot. Alright, so meanwhile, that's it. And now when you get this in there, you want to put it back on. You see, I just slid that in there. That's all there is to it. See it sticking up right there? Of course, you want to put a little bit of oil on it when it's ready. Then you just slide this in here like this. Just like it came off. And basically, you're gonna, I'm not going to compress it now because there's something else I'm going to do. I'm put some oil on it. You're going to take this out, just like I just said a second ago. Push that bad boy down. And when it's down, you're going to put these back on the barrel. Let me show you guys how that works too real quick. This is all that keeps the valve in place. It doesn't matter what manufacturer, it's always the same. Unless there's some weird crap I've never heard of. Which... Who knows there probably is. Alright, so there it goes. It holds it just like that. So you got an idea. There's a little ridge and it catches that ridge. And what holds it in tight is this right here. So basically... And my hands are nice and pretty. I know y'all can't believe this, but I'm really a beauty queen. <laughs> Not. Okay, here we go. So basically, that, that spring is going to be, the compressor is going to be pushing the spring down on the head. And when you go to lift it up, those keepers right there are going to hold it in place. Okay? 
So when the can pushes it down, the spring pushes it back up. That's all there is to it. There is nothing more, nothing less. And that's a wrap. Hope you have a good time doing your valve job.